Hey guys, so tell me how for the last two to three days I've been trying to upload one single video and it never uploads. It like stalls and says, oh wait, 72 hours to do this and it's just like, it's so infuriating. It is and it's just like, I'm tired of this, I'm, I'm tired of messages just being like, Oh, you know, it's not time for this message. It's not da da da. And it's like, I hate when people say it's divine timing for messages to come out. In reality, it's about people being receptive to these messages, not just being like, oh, you know, the universe doesn't want this information put out. It's like, no, the right receptacle has not been brought in to light for this to come out. So I really feel like a lot of times what we forget that here in here we have freedom of choice. So with that being said, it doesn't contrast against what is up here being that it's all free loving. So therefore it doesn't matter if we choose not to understand this message or not. It's meant for someone and someone alone. Simple as that. So it's like they chose to have that message given to them. They chose to listen to the message and boom, you know what I mean? It, it's just like, I'm so tired of people saying like this, especially, and this is what I've been thinking the last few days is I'm sorry for anyone who has thought I'm a bit of a pushover or a snob that I'm better than you because I'm on this spiritual journey. I never want to make anybody feel like they are inferior from any messages that they have come across or my crass um, attitude when it comes to things. Like, I get really excited when I get messages and especially with tarot, I get a little bit of an attitude. Like, it's a, like a flare. It's very playful or it's very serious. Um, so I'm working on that and I'm sorry, but you need to work on it too if you feel intimidated or you feel some type of way from a message that I get from you and how it comes across. Sometimes it was just meant to be like that. And I get like that with other people, not even just through tarot and through YouTube or for any message. Like I'm a very, I have an attitude and it fluctuates. And I try for the most part to keep a lid on that and how I feel, but sometimes the tone difference is kind of there and my facial features don't like express as much as my voice does. So that is just something I've always had. Um, so I did want to tell you because of the messages that didn't get. So I was going to post a part two, well, a full on energy video because I sat down to do tarot on Tuesday for what I had posted in the last video. So to, to clarify an extent. And that never posted. So I was like ah, whatever. So last night I was thinking. We all are struggling with what they call the matrix. Which is the 3D aspect of a physical dense reality. Now we live in a time and a place where so many people are saying. Oh look we're in a Piscean or a earthy matrix right so we need to be in an Aquarian energy we need to be enlightened we need to be balanced we need to pour into our cups and into our cups alone you know we do this this and that and I want to say this is what's wrong with some parts of the spiritual community because not everyone is meant to have the same knowledge as the next person or to, you know, to, to, to do this. So some people who are saying like, oh, I'm giving you these messages to help you. It's like follow the leader. You know what I mean? And it creates another matrix system. Some people are here to generally guide you through it. But if you're not using your discernment to go through it, some people will lead, <clears throat> some people will purposely lead you astray. You know what I mean? Like, they can shepherd you across, but how many people have been shepherded across only to end up at the butcher's block? That's my point. You have to use your intuition to get out of it. So imagine the Matrix as a giant maze that is completely different to every person's personal experience, right? That is literally life. Now, for the one person to say, oh, I got out of my Matrix and I'm living this and I'm in light and I'm this, this and that... It's because of the fact that cause and effect and what is written into their contract, 
like this person's specific contract to be enlightened, I'm telling you, there is different forms of enlightenment. You can never break out. It's just like you are constantly in a circle and a spiral going this way because of the fact that our world is counterclockwise. It's a reflection of a counterclockwise spiral. So instead of regulating that and bringing that open this way, we live in a closed circle, in a closed spiral. So all we ever do is spiral down in the left side in a very perverse manner. For those who say I broke out of my matrix, it's simply they broke out of one level of that matrix or they broke out and made it to level 10 of a matrix that is, say, 30 levels. You know what I mean? Their personal experience may not resonate with your personal living experience in this spiritual realm. For them to say, oh, I can help you, I can guide you, I can do this, this, and that. If you are already intuitive and you get people like this who want to be like, I want to break you out, I want to acquire and give you the knowledge I've made, da 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 great, you can have all that knowledge, but what are you going to do with it? Because most of the time, most of this information is like energetic snobbery, meaning that some people have gone through this and they come through and it just doesn't resonate. They're just using it to be like, oh, this is my experience. They want to interject and be like, ah, you know? So this is why people are always pushing this energetic. And this is why I feel like spiritual community is a bit of a joke here and there, because a lot of times people will always push, oh, you need to get readings, you need to have this, you need to go through hypnosis, you need to buy these crystals, you need to practice meditation. Like, meditation is fine. Some people can connect to it, but it's like, if you don't have an intent to meditate, meaning, like, with me, I was never able to do it until about this year when I went started a dark night through the soul in February, March. And that's when I started in, and I realized... I couldn't meditate because I was using meditation as a coping mechanism to remove thoughts from my head instead of I'm sitting down with the intent to do this. I'm in the intent to access this chakra or this healing energy or to rewrite my energy cycles. Boom, boom, boom. That's an intention to sit down to meditate because you're putting your mind at a task instead of basically being like, I'm going to calm my mind. It's going to make me feel at peace. Some people do that, but the intent is peaceful thoughts, peace and the healing energy. So when you sit down to meditate, if you're having a problem meditating, sit and focus on that one specific intent why you are meditating in this specific moment. That unlocks you. Not a lot of people realize meditation is not just about breathe work and calming your mind and calming your body. It's about intention. So when you align an intention with what you are doing, you're aligning a goal. And a goal is an intent to be revealed to you. So this is what I wanted to tell you. I'm not blasting anybody who has gone on. This is just what I've seen. And this is why I want you to know what is going on. I am, I'm working on this video. I have no clue. I might have to record it for those who want it. And I'm not even joking. I am literally sitting on the couch looking up at the window and I literally am seeing a bird just stare me right in the face. So, um, peace, love, and happiness. I love you guys.